Excuse me. Oh, you're right, sir. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll put it out. You know, secondhand smoke kills. So do I, baby. Walk on. How long is your brother going to stay here? A week. What's the matter? Nothing. Oh, come on, Nassim. I know you. What's wrong? Oh, well, there is something. He's always standing over my shoulder, asking me when I go, when I come, how long I'm going to take for lunch. I haven't felt so oppressed since the Ayatollah blew up my beach house. Look, my brother is anal. You're just going to have to go along with him, just take whatever he says with a grain of sand. Top of the morning. Good morning, Courtney. Mavis. Yes? You don't provide robes? What do you think the bedspreads are for? I'm sorry, I'm just used to the Four Seasons. You also used to drive in a Mercedes, but you're walking now, ain't you? When are you leaving? I won't be here long, because today I have an interview with none other than Abrams and Marshall. Abrams and Marshall? Get out of here! Oh my God, did you hear that, Nassim? He's got an interview with Abrams and Marshall. Oh my God, Abrams and Marshall! Mm. You've heard of him? No. no. <laughs> Listen, you did remember to take Enron off your resume, right? I can't. How would I explain where I've been for the last five years? Just tell them you had amnesia. That's what they do on Days of Our Lives. <laughs> now, see, now, see, with the noise. We got guests. Come on. Do you know what you're doing? Excuse me, Courtney. I was trained by the Iranian militia to build a missile system, <laughs> which we do not have. <laughs> Nassim, you never told me you were in the militia. I took it off my resume. See, that's a smart man. That's why he got a job. So how did you come to the States? I ran. <laughs> I ran. I ran. Ooh, See, Persian, Persian humor? No, but seriously, no, really, if you want to know, I, I came here to be with my many friends and relatives. Huh. Do they all live in New York? Uh, some do. Uh, most of them are spread out across the country. <laughs> but they keep to themselves. <laughs> development of a nuclear arsenal is not in his nation's It's interest. nuclear! And that nuclear! <laughs> he can say Condoleezza, why the hell can't he say nuclear? Hey, don't go making fun of my president. Making fun? I don't have to make fun of him. He makes fun of himself. You remember when he had that concert with Stevie Wonder at the White House? And he waved at Stevie? <laughs> Mavis, what? do me a favor. What? Try to be a little less harsh tonight. I am not harsh. I'm genteel. Look. Yes? I met someone. Really? And she's kind of special. And she happens to be white. Oh. Well, I'll just get out my ball gown. She's... she's so ebullient. She got a booyah? Is it from China? She got a booyah? You gonna get all my daddy? I just didn't want you to be surprised when you met her, that's all. Why would I be surprised? I mean, I read in the style section where it says that the correct accessory for any successful black man is a white woman. You can't go wrong with black and white. It's classic. But not before Labor Day. Is the TV fixed? Uh, this TV, I'm telling you, it's more dead than Saddam's first defense minister. Sorry. Sorry. That means I gotta go buy a new one. I'll go with you. Oh, will you? Because, you know, I've never bought a TV by myself before. <laughs> oh, wait, except for that one and that one and the other eight ones in the building. <laughs> See, I run the hotel, remember? Full-service boutique hotel within walking distance of Lincoln Center? Yeah. Where's this place? You're in it. <laughs> you don't have a concierge. Well, I'm taking applications. <laughs> Mavis, you need to cut cost. Hotels depend on tourists and business executives, and nobody is traveling. My people are traveling. 
My point exactly. Which is why no one will be coming here. I beg to differ. People are gonna come flocking here when they find out I'm singing in the nappy dugout lounge. The what? The nappy dugout. The nappy dugout. It's the bar, fool. The bar. Oh. Mavis, Mavis, you had one hit in 1986. Don't Hide Love was a number one hit. It was solid gold. People loved it. Let me tell you something. Hey, you like this one. You know, one day, I was in a disco all by myself in Qatar, just dancing and feeling very sad. There's only one woman there, and she has a beard, you know? A complicated one, like Kenny Rogers. And then... I'm feeling very sad. Suddenly I hear, but, but I don't have love. Oh, that's what's up. Don't have love. Don't have love. Oh, my baby. Don't 